The final quantity that remains to be discussed is the effect on the residuals. Now since we have already taken care of the effect on the feet, so there is hardly anything left about the residuals except one thing. When we look at the residuals, we must not forget that the residuals all have different level of variability. So it is a good idea to divide the residuals by their standard deviation or estimated standard deviation before we really look at that. So that is the idea of studentizing the residuals. Now when you do that, when you divide by the standard deviation of a residual, that will involve sigma square. So you have to use sigma square hat for that purpose. Now if you believe that the ith observation is going to be a suspect, then naturally you should not use that observation when you are doing this studentization. And this introduces this definition which is called R student. R student i is the ith studentized residual. It is defined as yi minus yi hat, that usual residual for the ith case. But when I divide it by its standard deviation, again a little bit of algebra would convince you that the standard deviation is sigma times square root of 1 minus hi, hi is that hat value. When you divide by that, remember to estimate sigma by not sigma hat, but by sigma hat round bracket i. That is called R student i and that will enable us to get a better idea of the underlying unobservable epsilon i. Now all through the discussion it might seem that we need to fit and refit the same model again and again dropping one row of your data at a time. That will be prohibitively computation intensive. But in practice, you really do not need to refit the model. You can do some algebraic jugglery so that you fit the model only once and then from that you can conclude what happens if you drop that ith row from the data. Now all these details are given in that book by Belsley, Ku and Wells. I am not going to go into all those details. You can work them out quite easily. They are not very inaccessible or anything. But in practice, we shall always use some software like R to compute these quantities for us. <laughs>